Hello! Welcome back to an incredibly delayed hello, but whatever. Uh, I was running around the little sewery underground place and dying to the rat repeatedly because it's a piece of garbage. And I remembered there's a door that we never actually went through down here, and it turns out this dude is inside that door. I don't know who he is or what's going on, but... Hello? Does he just walk me back out the door? Can I not do anything here? Because if that's true... This is, uh, yep. I apparently can't do anything here. Well, that's a great start to the video. Hmm. Glad I opted to record that. But that's the door I'm talking about. You just go through right here. Hold on. Don't mind this slight distraction. Oh, he dodged. How rude. Normally we can kill these in one round without them doing anything, but that one dodged, so unfortunately it'll take two. You will. We are, like, quote-unquote max level for this area with this group, but this group appears to be physically incapable of killing stupid rats, so... Um, I'm gonna maybe swap out some people, see if we have some maybe better party members that we can run around with. Uh, etc, etc, but, you know, such is the way. Uh, I'm not actually going to record me going all the way back to the castle and swapping party members out and getting runes and what like that. And what like that, that's a great phrase. But, uh, yeah, I just, I just wanted to, you know, update, because I found that dude in that room, and apparently he doesn't do anything, so I'll see you in, like, seven hours, but one second for you. Alright, well, it's done. I didn't record it. I apologize. It actually took quite a few tries, and I stopped recording them, so my bad, but we did it. The rat is dead. This is the party we used. Uh, with lots of runes. Everyone had runes. There are runes everywhere. Also, Luke, or Luck, or Luce, has uh, three rune slots. So he has the summoning thing equipped, and we were using that, but... We were dishing out lots of damage, especially from Luke. There were huge numbers coming out from him because his magic set is so high. And he can cast level 4 magic, so... That is always good. Also, Shiro over there with his crazy high strength was being very useful. Freedy is useless. I'm gonna keep calling him Freedy, because that's what I'm gonna do. But his stats are kind of meh. I wanted to replace him with Victor, but I couldn't seem to figure out how to get Victor in the party, so we just rolled with this, and Nanami was there primarily as a support unit. Holy crap, that's a lot of potch. And we got Poison, which I may never use. It's like other RPGs, I just never use the Poison thing, but whatever, we're here. We did it. I guess I could show you the runes we have. Shiro has Gale. He's doing nothing but attacking very quickly. I have Bright Shield and Wind. Freedy has Lightning. Nanami has Wind and Earth. Rina has Fire and Resurrection. And Luke has Blue Gate, Lightning, and Water. Uh, he has Water just so we can have two people heal in a single turn so we can get full health, but I never actually had to heal. It was a very RNG fight. I don't know what was going on in that fight, but he never once used an AoE attack. Which is the only thing he does that actually does any damage. Also, make Mega Medicine all over the place. Uh, and he just kept physically attacking people. He only actually got three hits off. This is the kind of damage output we were doing. He only actually got three hits off. The rest we dodged. Uh, I don't- I think it was another, like, three or four that we actually ended up dodging or something like that, but... It was really easy. Like, kind of oddly easy, actually. I have no idea where this is actually taking us, but probably to the Cobalt Village. Oh, hello. I am correct. We wish to speak with you. We're chasing a thief. I didn't actually mean to select that, but... That is what we're doing.
Lord Mackay and the Empire. Hmm. A peace agreement between Two River and Highland. Go, baby, before you get hit. Uh, I want to use a lot of exclamation points because that's exciting. We kind of we got all the time in the world to argue, though. I want to explore that part of the town. Give it to me. I've spent all day playing this game, basically, and I'm gonna manage to come up with like a single 40 minute video or something stupid, but whatever. I should have read what he said, because now I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm actually kind of just walking back to this place and assuming that is actually where I'm supposed to be. Hopefully it is. Turns out something's happening. Oh, hello. for opponents. They need no peace treaty. Hi, Chaco, again, you piece of garbage. Well, that's a heck of a way to ignore someone right there. You see, we did, and then he said something, and you, you know, stuff happened. The unnecessary hallway when you go into this building. you see. He says that a lot, I've noticed. You know, there was another town nearby called South Window that surrendered. That didn't really go over very well for them. I doubt it'll go over very well for you either. Please stay in your room. Bollocks to that. We got things to do, places to be. Hello again. Granny wants to meet you. Are you gonna tell me who Granny is or where Granny is? There's reinforcements. Fair enough. Not a bad idea to send for reinforcements, just in case, considering we're basically surrounded. Now I just need to figure out where Grandma is. Oh, is it gonna tell me? What do you mean I'm late? It's been like five seconds. It's 
probably gonna tell me I'm late again because I didn't walk up there with him. Whatever. Susu. No way, lady. This is my hand. By the hand of destiny. It's a bit dramatic. Hmm. Okay. What's downstairs? Can I steal from her? Oh, there's nothing down here. It's the important questions. Can I steal from you? No, she has nothing of value. All right. Uh, I mean, I don't need the wallet anymore. We have 75,000 potch. I think I'll be alright. I guess we're just gonna go sleep at the inn for now. I don't know what else we could do. I could have ran over to the Cobalt Village to see if anything was going on there, but I doubt there would be. I suspect we're going to have another one of them there, turn-based battle doos soon. Alright, well. I was about to say there's no music, so that's always a good sign. But no, there's just no music upstairs. Excuse me, for some reason. I got stuck on that lady. Excuse me, madam. Oh hey, it looks like they're not actually doing that. The dude just... he's just standing there while arrows fly past his legs. They have some terrible archers over there. Oh, hello. Arrgh. You think you can defeat me? I just auto these, I'm pretty sure. I'm certainly not expending magic to fight these peasants. They do actually do some decent damage, but... We have some superior firepower. By the way, uh, Luke, or Luck, or whatever comes with a... Rune that allows his staff to function as long range. I have de-equipped that from him to put other things there. We still have it. He just doesn't have it equipped, so he can't actually attack unless he's casting magic. Let's talk to Ridley again. We can't give up. Let's go. I wonder if you could just keep saying we can't give up and just keep fighting stuff. I don't know what I just said, but are you saying something something to river something? The winged rise! They're dropping rocks or something. I think they're just dropping rocks. That's not very intimidating. Because it's their home, you idiot. Is that guy just perpetually flying? Oh, nope, there he goes. Right after I say that to you.
dramatic battle music. You saying you won't defend this town? Do you actually have fangs? Because you've never actually opened your mouth, sir. Suddenly kobolds. Some real dramatic music going on. I approve. All troops advanced. Do you have more troops? I oh, have more of these dudes. Eh, we'll just auto it again. When Shiro crits, it's amazing. I'm sure you've realized that, considering he literally just crit for 400, but... He can deal, like, an entire party's worth of damage by himself when he crits. It's amazing. I approve. I'm pretty sure Victor can do that as well, because he's got some crazy high strength, but... I don't have Victor, because I couldn't figure out how to get Victor, so bollocks. Charge! Where did all the kobolds go? I only see one kobold. Did the rest die or something? Aha! You're in command, I'll just leave. Whilst you continue fighting for a little bit. And then you'll just casually walk away? Alright, this is... This is an interesting retreat order. <laughs> Good lord, what was that? Hooray! And Ridley's gone insane and transformed into some sort of weird dragon creature. If only. How many games have something named Ridley in it? I only know- the only one I actually know of prior to this was Metroid. Hmm. Alright, well... The, that didn't look like where the entrance to the tent was, but alright. Nobody will! Oh. Alright, well... This Jowie character. A lot like in this Jowie character. Filthy traitors. What is with people in waking me up? My name is Sleepy. Stop waking me up all the time. Good lord. These people. No sense of privacy. Alright, well, where do we go now? I guess we could, um... See if anything's going on in here. Maybe visit the Cobalt Village, maybe? Maybe, maybe? Oh, hey, it's Victor. And Shu.
Let us fight together. All right. Flincher, you're fired. Oh. I like how bluntly he said it. Flitcher, you're fired. What? I don't know if that's an insult or a compliment. Are we gonna go back immediately? Because I did actually want to check out the Cobalt Village first. Or the Cobalt part of town first. I don't know if there's anything I can do there. Alright, so they're gonna leave me be for now. Let's go explore the other part of town before we leave, and then we'll head back to the castle and I guess call it there. I don't know how long this video is actually gonna end up being. Obviously, it of course depends on how long I explore this other part of town, but... Also, my sense of time is horribly ruined by the amount of time I spent preparing and trying to do that fight. Oh. Well, if Ridley's not back, where the heck did Ridley... is... Is he still in the building? Hmm. Alright, well I guess I can't explore that part of town. That's gonna make it easier to judge the length of the video, I guess. I guess we'll just head back. I suppose. There's nothing else for us to do. I really wish I could walk a diagonals. Cursed old games and their grid-based system. Oh, hello. I am indeed. Uh, absolutely not. You're not gonna stay in this town? Eh, I suppose. Maybe. I don't know. I, might, I may never use you. Who knows? It's just, can you give me my wallet back while you're at it? Oh, hey. Your money was returned. And he used his wallet. Good lord. Alright, well they can keep each other occupied, I guess. I have no idea how much potch I actually had before we started that whole chain of events, but 84,000 potch is pretty darn good. Although I can't upgrade the weapons of anyone in this party anymore. They are all level 6. I'm starting to get some pretty high stats on people too. Although it looks like the HP of party members never actually gets crazy high. It looks like maybe 999 is the cap for HP in this game? I'm not sure, but... There's still two people I can recruit in this town. Apparently, I'm gonna mention because I did recruit two people. Apparently you can recruit the old lady that lives in this building. I came back here and talked to her again and she decided to join us. Uh, and I also recruited that guy in South Window that was asking for miscellaneous items. Apparently you get an option to throw the item at him eventually, so I wasted a bunch of money getting items again. Because I'm an idiot, but whatever. So we have those two now. Uh, I don't think the old lady does anything except you can talk to her, and I have no idea what the dude from South Window does except for the fact that he appears to have built an elevator. So we've got that going for us, I guess. I haven't recruited um, the two gamblers in Couscous. Mostly because I just don't want to throw money away again, because that was a great spending of time. But here's the elevator, so we can... Wait, fourth floor? We upgraded our castle? Or is this the fourth floor? I don't remember. Oh no, this is different. Hello. What's going on up here? So the castle does change. That's pretty neat. So they've added two rooms. They put a balcony up here? Wow, this is fancy. Very fancy. I approve. There's Fitcher. Excuse me, old lady. Wow, the uh, the workers did, did some pretty nice work up here. I approve. 
Let's go the birds way because they're going to poop on everything because they're birds and that's how they operate. Oh wait, there's another floor. What are you up to? Cleaning? It's a dead end. So this is where they're working, I suppose. Hello. Where did you two come from? Good luck, handsome knight. Alright. I wonder what this floor is going to be. It's actually nice we have an elevator now. I don't know how this man invented an elevator this time, but whatever. Uh, these are general. I don't know where Shu is, but... It's probably in this room down here, but... We're not going to be heading into that room until next video, because we're going to save right here. Perhaps we'll... well, no. I was going to say, maybe we'll explore the castle again, but I doubt it's changed too much, except for... The addition of floors and stuff up there. I don't. I wonder what like the max level castle looks like. Be pretty sweet. Either way, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.